Hey guys, this is Patrick from Rocky Mount Style. I have a, another unboxing today. Today we're going to be looking at the Astro Flex Patno Flex Travel Loafer in Dark Chestnut. So uh, this is one I'm pretty excited for. I first saw these on Huckberry about two years ago or so. Um, always thought they looked pretty cool, uh, but never, never pulled the trigger on one. Uh, thankfully, lucky enough to get in a position where Huckberry sent these my way for a review. La Scarpa Buona. I think that means the good shoe, a good shoe, something like that in Italian. Uh, my Italian's pretty sparse. Anyways, let's check it out. Okay, so we got some stuff here. Astroflex, so yeah, Astroflex Italian company. Um, family owned for several generations from what I remember. You guys can Read that if you want. Nice little booklet. You don't see that too often included with pair of footwear. Looks like we have a shoe bag, unbranded. That'll do the trick. Oh, cool. Yeah, so these ones, these are sort of halfway between a loafer and a slipper, I think. They're more uh, casual than, you know, a penny loafer. Um, very flexible. That's what you see that on the website. They, uh, they can flex really nicely. Leather sole, fairly thin leather sole, uh, stitched as you can see there. Ferro Coyo, uh, genuine leather made in Italy. It's got a leather heel stack and then this uh, sort of gum rubber heel, uh, heel pad, top lift, whatever you want to call it. Probably to add a little comfort. Uh, they look comfortable. The leather is kind of interesting. It feels uh, feels like a new buck. Actually, I think base is classified as a new buck. Um, anyways, yeah, new buck made in Italy. Let's take this out. Leather lined on the inside, of course. Really smooth. Really nice feeling looking leather. Me smells nice. Smells like good leather. Cool. All right. Yeah, no issues. Oh, I just rubbed. There was a little thing on there, and I just rubbed it with my hand and gave it a little bit of a scratch. That's fine, though. That's what leather. That's what leather does, right? Okay. Check out the next one. It's going to be much of the same, I'm sure. Oh, okay. Here we go. Master Flex 1820. That's a little piece of leather. That's kind of neat. And this color, uh, is it dark chestnut. Yeah, dark chestnut. Uh, big fan of this color. It, I mean, not exactly, but it kind of reminds me of Copper Rough and Tough from uh, Red Wing. Do a little close up there of the stitching. Yeah, looks nice. Yeah, handmade by, you know, if you're to believe the marketing materials, handmade by people who have been making shoes for generations. So, generally speaking, that's going to be pretty good. Got a little bit of a indentation there, as you can see. Probably was just sitting, sitting funny. Um, yeah, that that kind of thing doesn't really bother me. I could see how that might bother some other people. As soon as you break them in, and if you were to, I'm sure if you get some lotion and work it in, you could probably get rid of that. But I could see that maybe bothering some people. So there it is. Um, yeah, leather sole. Yeah, pretty nice. All right. Hopefully they fit. Thanks for watching.